Class three. We're still on the Burks. Class three Burke Boers. 158-1. First bore in. The Luke family. Monopoly flyby. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that would be a full sieve to the champion bore at Belt, Texas. The more you know. The more you know. So that's what I'm here for, education. Second one out, 192-1, the Schmeling family. Another smoke and mirrors. It's starting to heat up a little bit yeah, here. Yeah, it is. I mean, you're sweating just sitting here. As I usually do, yeah. You know, Todd, if you're sweating sitting here and Marcus Miller's got three buttons already undone on his shirt, it's starting to warm up. <laughs> well, speaking of Mr. Miller. It's, Actually, one. It's, it's funny Miller. how... Two, three. Actually, we're four down. It's four warming down. up in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. I find it interesting that Miller looks like the only guy that could actually, actually big and stout enough to stop a boar fight, but yet he's the only guy in the ring without a panel. We got two skinny guys on the panel. Yeah, the two skinniest guys. Mr. Mr. Right. Miller is is opening pins. Yeah, leaning on a pin. Leaning on his pen with his shirt three quarters of the way down. Yeah, open three quarters of the way. We get one more button down and we're going to start partying. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not start that, partying. That is not. Okay, let's move on. Let's that's move on. thought that I do not want to get into. Yeah, it's a better thing. That Back you, to the board. Back to the here. pig show. We got the two skinny guys with the boards. 202-3 coming in next, uh, Alley Tor. Here we go. Smoke and mirrors again. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors in this Berkshire deal. One seven one forty seven dash three. Another Kanoth entry. Um, we'll see him sweat even more than last time, I assume, trying to. He's actually doing something, though. Well, these boards are not easy to show. He, he got a pen right away, though. So He did. He says, put well, me goodness. in a pen. He says, put me in a pen. I think Mr. Hogue knew that he might go down before the board would, so we better get him in a pen. Trojan family catches a pen there. 203-1. Another really good build. Extended front end in that one. Tall fronted. Hey, look who's back. First time showman. He's at least hitting that one in the back. <laughs> you can hear it from here. I can hear it in my headset. He's hitting that hard. <laughs> Is that a good thing? I'd tell my kids not to do that, but Bryce kind of goes by a beat of a different drum. So Nice bore, though. All seriousness, nice balanced bore. Yep. It's in he seven. Dies there. For now, I think that one will move up. I bet he moves up. Too. I bet he moves up. I don't think that's the spot where Bryce would like to stay. I don't figure anybody really gets loaded up in the trailer hoping for seventh, though. I mean, you're not breaking any new ground there. I don't think anybody wants to be in All seventh. Right. Yeah, you might, if you're going to do that, you just, just load up the van and Get a few twenties and buy you, some cotton candy. I bet you got a van. I bet it's got like <laughs> free candy no, roll on the side of the van. We got too many kids. We can't fit them in a van no more. Now we got them the big. It's a. <laughs> we go to hug shows. We got to load two vehicles because we can't. I can't fit everybody in my truck. How many kiddos you got? Four. Yeah, you look at look at me like I'm, I'm gonna leave that that one <laughs> I'm alone. Very smart, and you're correct. A filter when somebody in. says yes to me, it's hard for me to say no. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I hope your lady's watching this. They archive this. I'm going to make sure she knows about this. <laughs> Mr. Schmeling comes off the mic duties with the pretty nice boar he's driving in this he car. He does. Wonder where he bought him at. Let's see, 192-1. Another smoke and mirrors. Yeah. 
That's a 192.1. That's a January 10th board. These are all about four days apart in this class. Six to 11. That'd be five days. We got a nice, another nice class here. Be interesting to see a how good this one. Set of usable boards. Yeah. Be interesting how Mr. Hogue lines this up. You know, if they do ever ask me to judge another show, I, I'm going to ask Amy though to please do not have Mr. Will Winter. Um, commentating on the why <laughs> I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> probably because I'd be out there with a the bumper sticker on the back of my shirt <laughs> that'd be another good board name for this show bumper sticker bumper sticker yeah, we got bumper sticker. We got uh, Radio I like Shack, it. I think, is one Mr. Hope come up with. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Little one. Carry on. Should have cut him. Can still cut him. Hi, Jack. Makes the cut. Enemy territory for you. Makes the cut. <laughs> Welcome, Jack Wall, to the Berkshire side, to the dark side. Who looks like he just was taking the quicker route to the men's room is what he was up to. That's all he did. He just used he just <laughs> physically just used He's the used Berkshire already. ring so he could get to the bathroom faster. I don't know how to I guess feel get, about that. I guess I guess when you just get to that age you just don't need to go the long way. Well there's I mean at that age there's issues that you deal with, so I mean maybe it's just something he's gotta do, so Mr. Schmeling right, coming here out here. This one. should be interesting. One ninety-two four one. wars here. What happens? Smoke and mirrors. I do. You know, one of the greener ones in class, but you, I see a lot of future in this one. This one. Yep, that little dude's moochy good. Yeah. A not so little one. One thirty-two one. Stephen Gentry. Keep talking. Yeah. Non-typical. Keep talking to be that boy of ours we had here last year. And then the Knight Brothers, another really stout, bladed, stout, uh, footed bore there, heavy structure. This is a good class. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Jack's back again. Jack's back again. He just went across the screen. Tearing his files. Important stuff there. Charles' family got him 203 1 out here. And then also the Knoth entries back out for another view. And Bryce, Bryce and Bri is out. Bryce comes back out. And we're coming back out with seven. It's not every day that, that a guy gets an opportunity to have seven. Seven good boards. Sometimes you get to a board show, you don't have seven good boards in the whole show. Yeah. He's well, got him seven in this particular class that he's reshuffling. And well, to be honest, he might be looking up for his dad right now. Most most Bring board shows, if you let two or three or four back out, you're you know that's about it. Treading on thin ice, and he's got seven of them out here. And they deserve another look. There's seven that deserve another look. Yep, absolutely. It's got to be one of the better. I don't know if the champion of the show is in this particular class, but we're seven we're seven deep on yeah. on uh, on usable usable boards out here, and don't all come from the same mold. I mean, there's there's some differences on body type and differences on skeleton and stoutness, but and some maturity differences on where they're at in their development. Yep. It's two oh three one boards, another one of them that's. Maybe not had the groceries or just. Mr. Knauth goes back in six. 
So Gentry goes back in five. Good pair of boards there. Mr. Hogue getting some assistance on some data from ringside. Our ring help is now standing in front of us. Yeah, they're in the way. Mr. Schmeling, uh Finds the fourth hole, looks like, and Brass Mr. Conover will be third. Yep. Schmeling board just doesn't quite fit size-wise, performance-wise no, no, with these others. Good hog, though. Good hog. All right, I'm going to pick one I like. You pick the one you like. We'll see who wins. That's I don't want fun. you to agree with me. That makes me feel like I messed <laughs> it up. Here's Mr. Ho. I had seven boars out here, and I tell you, the comments from the Poland side have been uh, really, really good. From what I've heard about the quality, uh, Berkshire gilts are good. Uh, it really, uh, lots of opportunity. The Berkshire boar show been tremendous out here, and I compliment the Berkshire boar breeders that have represented your breed so well to this point today. Uh, there are seven boars, and not taking any away from 8 through 11, uh, but there are Berkshire uh, females that we have running through my mind at home that we could use uh, uh, these different types of boars and every one of these boars uh, in my opinion represent the breed well they have breeding value and so let's not in my opinion focus on one boar within this particular class I think it would be better as animal breeders to study and appreciate the depth of quality and the unique pieces that are represented top pair of boars I love both of them and I sure think uh, they have similarities of design and agility you've got to decide what your sow herd looks like at home. Do you need a little more blade and forerib, or do you want to take them out there just a little further in terms of that length and attractiveness? Uh, and this placing is probably too dependent on what I have at home and what Nolan, uh, our nine-year-old son, is doing with his Berkshire program because I want to fix wrinkles and ham loins and I want to make the best length of rump and levelness of hip that we can at home. When I do that, to me, a terribly unique boar is a 203-1 boar and he's my class winner within this particular drive. And uh, I'm not going to say he's more my kind because both of these boars are my kind. They should be our kind. Uh, they're just good stock out here. Love the length, love the look, love the extension. There's a Berkshire gilt that I put about fifth that looks a lot like this one terribly unique and I want my females to be basic. I want my boars to take our females in unique directions. I think this is the most unique one we've seen to have that clean crest in his neck, that perfect Berkshire ear and head and I mean get out and go good. He's fresh, he's high, he's lean, no wrinkles. I like that boar a good deal. When this thing comes at you, uh, you got to love Berkshires. If you don't love Berkshires, study the boar in second because he stands for so much good in terms of blade that round rib cage right behind his shoulder that hock joint that's clean and agile and functional love the breeding value of this berkshire boar if i want to be picky i balance the crest to his neck to where the slope to his hip is i thought the class winner was just a pinch more unique 
huge value in that one. Once again, I think, uh, Bryce, it looks like he's having a liquidation at home. I don't think he's missed a class yet uh, in terms of volume of, of pigs shown. This is the best one to me, shown uh, to this point. Love the, love the look up front of this boar. Love the shape. Uh, I'll tell you what, this young man's got muscle in his Berkshires. He's got him shaped right, and I think this is a great example of a tremendous hog. Maybe not uh, unique and tangible the density of form is the top pair, but there's a whole bunch of breeding value in that one. I asked what the age spread was in this class, and I'm not one to just pound them out, but this boar's uh, suffering just a little bit in terms of weight per day of age in this class. After this, this 192 boar, imagine a higher percentage of Berkshires being built like that, sound, correct, athletic, got a huge form. I love the shape. That's a real form in a little Berkshire boar. Love his shape, love his agility. I'd use that one just as quick maybe as any of them uh, if it were me. Uh, 132 one coming out. If we just studied Berkshires from a profile, studied structural and skeletal quality, 132 one might be my choice in here from a side. Absolutely love how this boar goes. Get in front of him and I just want to strengthen him a shade uh, right up front. But boy, check out the length, the volume, the performance, and the hawk design in that one. Next boar coming out, really like his width and stoutness and, and really uh, a bold made boar, just a little puffy there at the top of his neck. I want to lengthen that out just a shade, but if you need width, you need volume, and you need appetite, that boar needs to be studied. 158.1, when the young lady's on his head, he's way cool. I mean, jerk neck, flat backed, and really neat. When his head goes down, he'll separate just a shade behind his shoulder but that is a captivating look in terms of a Berkshire boar when she gets him going next boar coming out I mean this is a breeding hog right here fired up a libido's high bones are big athletic and, and just really really flexible just a nickel plane out here from a show ring standpoint remaining three hogs good kinds of hogs need more bone in that boar need more muscle and then need to be sounder great class my compliments for the depth of quality in that class Here are the results of class three in our Berkshire show. Trogdon Show Pigs from Paris, Illinois had your class winner, 203-1. Second, Knight Genetics of Armstrong, Illinois, 148-1. Third, Bryce Conover, Baxter, Iowa, 123-2. Fourth, Ben and Ethan Schmeling, Prescott, Iowa, 192-1. Fifth in the class, Stephen Gentry, Lebanon, Indiana, 132-1. From the top down, eight, three, Five, six, two, ten, seven, four, nine, eleven, one on the bottom.